हाई इंजीनियरिंग जनता आई एम वैभव शुक्ला एंड टूडे वील बी डिस्कसिंग अ टॉपिक दैट इज अ बिग बर्निंग न्यूज नाउ अ डेज अ बिग बर्निंग डिबेट इन द सर्कल्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस ऑल्सो अलॉन्ग साइड दैट वी हैड रन अ कम्युनिटी पोल वी हैड आस्क आर स्टूडेंट्स वट काइंड ऑफ गाइडेंस डू यू वॉन्ट फ्रॉम आस एंड एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम मेजोरिटी ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स रिप्लाइड दैट वी वॉन्ट सम गाइडेंस ऑन द फ्यूचर of full stack development what kind of future it holds what kind of opportunities would remain in future what kind of uh, upcoming perspectives of this career would be and most of the aspirants are actually worried from the influx of ai and various other technologies and they are quite worried whether full stack development would remain or it would not remain or they would become obsolete what kind of skills they should gather up so that they are relevant to the market so in that case to help you out with that today i decided to build this video and it's your responsibility as a student as a watcher of this channel number 1 you have to spread this information as far as possible because a lot of myths are existing aaj ke video mein main maximum cheeze bahut practical baaton pe kar raha hu i will not be telling you something jo bas news mein ghoom raha hai aur hawa bazi ho rahi hai nahi i'll be telling you something very very relevant to your career so if you know some junior senior or whoever who needs this guidance please spread it out because main video bana hi se le raha hu taki jo ek ek aisa hai na ki log future of full stack development sochte hain aur ek pandora box khul jata hai pura news ka i don't want that i really want people to be informed in the correct manner vimarsh bhi ho to theek ho theek hai so for that let's dive in deep and understand what kind of demand is going on right now and let's deep dive into the everything of full stack development and let's understand what kind of future would it hold so simply telling you demand of full stack developers right now is very high fine it's it's actually very high in the market but you often don't find skilled full stack developers okay why the demand is high let's let's get a perspective of that let's understand why it is highly valued so right now if you see the demand is day by day increasing in this domain because one can handle both front end and back end development now what advantage does this offer think in the terms of a company just imagine you own a company now you are given front end engineer a 10 lpa package and a back end engineer again a 10 lpa package fine so generally in this package you'll have a decent front end or back end engineer for a project for a full stack project you will need at least these two engineers i'm i'm talking about very basic requirement fine so you are basically spending 20 lpa as a company but if you're somebody who's actually trying and who's being a full stack developer why you can be so important for the company see now if you are a full stack fsd fine full stack developer and if company pays you even 18 lpa first of all this is a very lucrative package for a person who's who's just starting his career or into his earlier career fine if somebody is into his early career 18 lpa is a very good package alongside that paying a single person this helps company in the terms of cost already 2 lpa is being saved for the company's end and they have hired a good resource because if you pay higher then definitely you will be getting some better talent because the challenges of the interview would be much tougher due to the pay point fine so in this case come thinking from companies and you get lesser amount of spending and a better talent number 1 number 2 you do not face any operational challenges in project efficiency for example say Rohan and Rahul are two people. One is back end engineer, one is front end engineer. In this case, when you try and equate these two people, when you try and put them in the same project, you need a very good synchronization. If sync fails at any point between these two individuals, the project is going to suffer. Whereas when you're spending on just one person, the sync is absolutely going to be smooth because this is just one person. handling all this fine so he knows in and out of everything he knows what exactly he is doing in front end and what exact mapping he has to do in the back end for the same fine so the communication gap is not there the efficiency increases and the team size is leaner 
it is leaner on the team side management becomes easy and you can easily pivot things so efficiency is very high when you have full stack developers alongside that the general growth trend let's talk realistically on data fine so general growth trend suggests that a 25 percent increase would be there in the demand for full stack developers over the next five years fine so there is going to be a increase in the demand of full stack developers but will the mern stack developers flourish will the mean stack developer flourish these are the questions immediate questions that main to bhai mern stack karta hu main kar paunga ya main full stack mein java full stack developer hu main ho jaunga next 5 years mein ek acche package pe that that's a big question now to answer you that let me tell you one thing very very honestly few things coming in like some frameworks and things like artificial intelligence machine learning prompt engineering things coming like that are actually changing the scenario of this demand fine and i'll explain you how ai would be plugged in into this but right now you need to understand that demand is going nowhere you'll get ample amount of opportunities in next 5 years so you'll see a surge in the full stack development utna to maan ke chalo full stack development ka future dark nahi hai honestly speaking now realistically talking there is an evolution that is happening in full stack development ek evolution hui hai ye baat sach hai theek hai and what kind of evolution is this first is shift to ai and automation so ai assisted development tools like copilot you have seen for all those people who use git or all those people who use vs code copilot is a very familiar thing fine and copilot chat gpt a lot of more models like deep seek claude quen a lot of models are making coding easier but developers will need to focus on system design and optimization now this is one domain where ai cannot help much here a human intervention is still needed fine so one has to be very very thorough with copilots one has to be very good with the plugging in of ai integration of ai into the full stack he has to be updated with those skills alongside that system design and optimization are becoming super important at this point of time fine low code no code is actually on the rise these tools that that will handle basic development the complex applications can't be handled by those fine you need full stack developers to handle complex applications because you need scaling of those applications you need to scale them at the enterprise grade fine at that point of time low code or no code or the leaner code variations are really helpful they are provided by full stack developers now how do full stack developers give it nowadays they often try different different frameworks for that we'll come to it but apart from this you need scalability fine aisa hota hai jab enterprise grade solution mein aap kaam karte ho ya enterprise grade project bana rahe hote ho at that point of time you need to make a project scalable over a vast user base for that you need ke wo ek hi heavy bulky project na ho balki decentralized project ho thoda sa and for that you try sometimes building micro services that one service is at a place it is running and then another service layer you basically build a service layer with multiple services that is basically micro service architecture fine so micro services architecture is super important and how it can be fulfilled how it can be uh, used that i'll explain in the upcoming slides but right now understand ke micro service bahut important hai so this is something you should learn iske bina if you are being a full stack developer sorry you will be obsolete very soon as simple as that theek hai aapki koi zarurat nahi rahegi market ko bahut jaldi theek hai to micro services seekh lo alongside that cloud dominance companies are moving towards serverless architecture micro services cloud based applications in that sense a lot of you have heard this term devops almost everybody knows this term find devops earlier it used to be it ops it ops pura domain hota tha almost dheere dheere vanish ho gaya devops aa gaya fine and now even this is being transformed into no ops fine things like this are being developed why so that you have a leaner team size now how do you do that some of the full stack developers actually know this fine some of the full stack developers no devops so as a full stack developer you must be basically 
brushed up with DevOps or NoOps. Fine. You must have an intermediate level skill for this so that you are actually a valuable asset for a company. Ajkal companies, na, they are finding somebody who's jack of all trades. Fine. Rather than focusing on master of one, let me tell you. They need that jack ability. And let me tell you, this quote, jo hai na, bahut log aise negative sense mein use karte hai ke, he is jack of all trades, master of none, right? Let me tell you, this full quote, jo hai, wo hai, jack of all trades, master of none, often at times better than one, fine? So, this is always said ke, jack of all trades is often better than master of one, fine? So, that one thing you should remember. Here, you be a master of full stack development, but alongside that, be a jack of other trades. At least know DevOps, know what kind of no ops architecture is being used. Fine. Be acquainted with that. When you're doing that, alongside that, Zomato founder ne abhi recently ye kiya tha ke, he said, ke, I want people in full stack development who use AI as their second brain. Very soon, you'll be facing people who use AI as their second brain. So, the basic portion or the labor portion of the code would be written by AI, fine. The developers would be using AI for the same and they would be handling the system design and optimization part, fine. So you should know that you, you should practice development code. Definitely you should know the development, but alongside that, you should know how to leverage out the AI tools as well, fine. Apart from that, let's talk about skills that will matter in 2025 to 2030. Now in this case, it is very important and very essential to understand that just MERN or LAMP or just mean stack won't help you out. You need to have a good grip on frameworks. If you're somebody who's learning MERN, please learn frameworks like Next.js, Next.js, Spring Boot to very, very crucial. Next 10 to 12 years, know where it is going. Spring Boot would remain. One would earn in whopping amount if he's a Spring Boot developer and if he's a Spring Boot full stack developer. If you're somebody who comes from the line of Python, Flask is something you should learn as soon as possible. Fast API you should be learning, fine. So learn these things, learn these things. Alongside this, learn some DevOps and cloud skills as I told you, AWS, Azure, CI, CD pipelines are very, very essential nowadays. You need to set a pipeline in almost every organization, in every process you build. So for that, you need to have a good grip on these particular skills so that you are you're actually valuable as a full stack engineer. Now, now tell me, if I have somebody who knows a bit of DevOps, no ops, and he's good at full stack development with Spring Boot as the framework that he has learned, and there is somebody who knows Mern stack, is an excellent full stack developer in Mern stack, and this Spring Boot guy is not excellent, but good enough, who would I hire? I would not hire this excellent guy. I would hire this good guy because he knows DevOps, he would practice, he would keep on doing, he would become excellent eventually. But he would solve my other problems as well. Imagine, karo, ek stack developer hai, so khub sara aata hai. I'm paying him 20 LPA as a company and I have on a similar end, a good, not excellent, a good spring boot full stack developer who knows things, who knows about DevOps, who knows about cloud, who knows about AWS. Main usse kyun hire karunga? I would give him 20 LPA and he would happily do my other works as well, isn't it? Wo, baki skills bhi handle kar lega. Fine. If he knows AI integration, I would pay him 22 because he's actually a valuable resource than that excellent full stack developer. Fine. So in that case, you need to understand that CI, CD application, AI and ML integration, you need to have this. Fine. You need to be aware about all this and alongside this, cyber security awareness is day by day increasing. Day by day, it is being demanded because the basics of network security is nowadays needed after the advent of AI, fine. So you need to be careful about this. You need to be very, very uh, sure that your development or whatever you're building is actually secure in the terms of network security because nowadays after advent of AI, coming in of AI, things have changed rapidly in the uh, world of cyber security. So you need to be very, very focused here. Alongside this, 
you need to understand that this portion of second brain read this out what is second brain fine read this out what is second brain fine i guess this is not that visible let me write it here somewhere so that you guys can see it well hmm. so read out about second brain and second brain ai so what is this how do people use ai as their second brain read about it because this can actually change the way you will see yourself in the next 5 years this will actually change the way of thinking in the terms of a full stack developer fine now what are the career opportunities and growth in this so if i come to that for product based companies always they are hiring for full stack engineers and now they nowadays almost every big product based company has stopped hiring just back end or front end engineers fine so if google is hiring or if microsoft is hiring fine the ratio is generally like this if they are hiring 10 people for 10 people the ratio is 9 fsds <coughs> and maybe one back end engineer or one front end engineer fine here also 9 fsds one back end engineer generally no front end engineer fine generally you might find some vacancies but but they are for experienced people not for the early entrants and generally they are making this front end back end division obsolete they are trying to get full stack developers who know in and out of full stack web development or full stack development of software fine so they are heavily investing on that they are heavily interested in hiring people who are full stack developers alongside that when you are a full stack developer your freelancing and remote opportunities are huge consider i am a remote job recruiter fine or i am a person who who gets things done by freelancers why would i give it to somebody who is just a front end engineer isn't it also as a full stack developer it's good to have a basic design sense fine so ui and ux design sense you have to have this this basic ui ux design sense i'm not saying you you be an expert of figma i'm not saying you be an expert of uh, the ui schemas i'm not saying that i am saying that you be acquainted with it as a full stack developer because that makes you even more valuable fine alongside this this freelancing and remote jobs increase immensely if you're a full stack developer and the salaries are generally higher and in next 5 years they are going to be approximately 30 40% higher than they are right now so full stack development has a promising future given that you follow what i told you given that you prepare what i told you fine you need to be thorough with that as well so if you feel anything that that should be told to you go ahead comment below this video because top 3 comments can stand a chance to win the prep insta prime subscription for free and for the people who are not following us on social media handles go ahead follow us because there you have hiring updates for you alongside that i am starting a telegram community for you people you will find the link for that telegram community in the description box as well fine go ahead even in the comment section i'll get that pinned fine so join that telegram community if you want this ppt to be shared there number 1 and if you want this ppt to be shared there go ahead in the comments tell me that please share this ppt or you simply type out ppt fine you simply type out ppt and we'll be if there are significant number of comments on the video asking for ppt in the telegram community i'll be delivering this alongside that in that telegram community i'll be sharing resources for the placement preparation i'll be sharing the upcoming ppts of my guidance videos my other videos that i usually tell you where you can prepare things how you can prepare things i'll be telling you that fine so that is one thing you should be very very concerned about fine and if you join that telegram community it would be super beneficial for you so as a person who who's actually trying to deliver you quality who's trying to deliver you good things who's trying to deliver you knowledge i would prefer that you join that so that you can access the free resources that i build and i'll push them in that telegram community fine apart from this whoever is in the dilemma or whoever is confused about the future of full stack development go ahead spread this video tell them yourself i would just simply say as i always do 
keep doing good without any expectation, good will come back to you in the multifolds. Have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you.